So it's scan to one half parsec on screen. Weapons or advantage. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You're wasting your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. But now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I am your host, David, and joining me today we have Z Nobody. Thank you. Hi. Hi, everybody. We have Stuart. Sup, guys? We have Scarecrow. Good evening. And we have the non-monster himself, EJ. Who? Where? What? Huh? <laughs> um, dum, 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 dum. Anyway. <laughs> in the, in the, in, yeah. He was, he's been doing that for the last 10 minutes to try and annoy me. <laughs> Uh, Would I do that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh. I third that emotion. <laughs> okay. Anyway, on tonight's podcast, we are covering Dragon Ball Resurrection F and Fantastic Four, the new Fantastic Four movie. <laughs> <laughs> and full body shutters all around are authorized at this point Un- in time. Unclean. So unclean. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, she can never be unseen. (laughs) We're going to start off with a spoiler free review of both, and then we're going to jump straight into beating the living crap out of Fantastic Four, probably. Yeah. Or we might leave that to the end. I haven't decided yet. We'll work out. Oh no, it's still gonna get it's still gonna oh, get the crap in and out of it. Oh yeah, it's 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 getting taken away in a body bag in the end of it. But <laughs> some it's point. Just a, it's just a t- just yet to be determined what caliber we're using on it yet. Yeah. So anyway, Fantastic Four, we've all seen it for the most part. What would you guys say other than it's ugh. Wait for it, wait for it. It's clobbering time. <laughs> <sighs> this movie I, I, Okay. I, I, How do I put it without spoilers? This movie is this so movie... catastrophically horrible the English language does not have the wording needed to precisely oh. describe how bad it is. This this Can I movie... jump in? Can I jump no, in I've here got, before I've we go got, to... I've got a good metaphor for this. This oh. movie makes the prequels look good. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. I third Agreed. that. Agreed. Okay. Oh, man. I'm just going to say this. This is me attempting to be kind. Oh, God. It had the makings of a good movie. Yes. I'll agree with that. It up, had the potential. Up to the point where they decided to make it a 90-minute long feature. Then it became more rushed than. Yeah. Wait, wait. Was it only Britney 90 Spears minutes? in a sex scene? It felt a lot longer than ninety minutes. But yeah, got... I'm like, God, is this a two and a half hour movie? Yeah. It I... felt like it. What it, it what should it... have been a two and a half hour movie. What it felt like to me was that it had a lot of good potential. It really did. Um, but it's just it... a production. Everyone, <laughs> I think, like fifteen odd scenes got cut. No, no. It, it felt like. It was. It had the potential to be good. But it was great. There was too many the fingers in the pie. To it was going great result. up to about the point where they where someone looked at his watch and went, "Oh, we've got an hour worth of movie, and oh crap, we've got a ninety minute long movie window." Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So it's the, the, like the casting was all right, and the acting oh, yeah, was pretty no, good. Like, no, there's like, nothing like, wrong with really that. Really like the cast. Really? They even explained yeah. the black guy as the Human Torch fantastically. I actually yeah. enjoyed how they portrayed the Storm family. That was good. It's just yeah, Michael rushed. Michael J. White did an incredible job, and he's going to do a really good um, um, Apollo Creed son yeah. in, the, in the Creed movie. So yeah, the, the, yeah, the, 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 the... go AJ. Well, oh, oh, okay. Uh, the the I, I agree. The casting was great. The CG was great. About the time I realized that this movie was all about exposition and nothing else, I realized that it, it wasn't going to go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it felt like the first little bit of the movie where they're introducing the character. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll leave that for the spoiler version, but it felt to me like there was not only was there large chunks missing, there was some someone had gone through and gone, 
Okay, put it in a blender, pour it in a bucket. Now let's put it back in order. Whatever's left in the blender is what stays in the blender. It's what it sort of yeah. felt like. It felt like the... What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, pacing. The pacing was all over the yes. place. Yes. Well, what was, they... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry, was, go ahead. It was, it was fast in parts. It was ridiculously slow in parts. It was tedious in parts. And then it just seemed to jump sporadically for no yeah. apparent reason sort of lurch forwards, pause for a bit, lurch forwards. It felt like a learner driver trying to learn how to drive a car. Cool. Yeah. Cool. You, know, you know what I actually feel the, the most sorry for? Poor, um, poor Joss Trank. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he wanted to do it in a certain way, and then the, and then Fox was like, nope, we're going to do it our way. Yeah, and I got a sneaking and suspicion even he, he that even, was the big thing. Yeah, like, and Joss Trank wrote, after he watched it on the screen, that he was actually disgusted with it. Yeah. And... That's yeah. that's a big deal. Yeah, like, he really wasn't happy with the final product at all. So, hopefully, 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 please, Fox, we beg of you, please give us a director's cut so we know what he wanted to do. Please don't throw all that extra stuff in the bin. We know what you're like. We know. But please, just give us the director's cut, a proper full-length version that isn't that one for the Blu-ray. I beg you. I don't want to have to buy that. Yep. I feel, I feel sorry for anyone that, that does. So, anyway. So, I watched that on Thursday, around lunchtime. Yeah, I watched it yesterday. Yeah. And then Friday night, I watched... Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, which, if I remember correctly, made it into the top 10 movies on the last weekend, the weekend just gone, um, the weekend of the 8th, uh, 10th of August, made it to the top 10 in the United States, and it was only there for like three days. So... Yeah, it's, it's just like, it was really nice to see a lot of the, fan, the fandom come out. Oh, yeah. And um, it was really cool. And um, where I, the cinema where I, when I watch it is um, it was everyone... packed. Oh it was yeah, packed where I was. Yeah, it's packed where I was. But it was really cool. Um, we didn't have cosplayers per se. There were people that had like some de- like some Goku shirts on and stuff. Yeah. But when but when they did the, when the Kamehameha shows up, like everyone was like Kamehameha. Like we all got into it. This is like that. That's the fandom right there. Yeah. Um, and just for the record, Mojo, we're sending the the first day then to you soon just, just calm down Dragon Ball Z was awesome but you don't need to, to shatter off into gibberish <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but anyway like even if you exclude the fact that it's a Dragon Ball Z movie any movie that is only out for three or four days that, that makes it into the top ten, 10 yeah. and does as well as that did that's pretty spectacular on any level mm. Yeah, like everything was nice. Like good, good comedy throughout it. Bomber being bomber. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Just like, I, I've got a, I've just got a quick question. Everyone. Yep. Uh, what, what, what's Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> yeah, it was good. There's only one thing I found it lacked. Screaming. Yeah, not enough screaming. <laughs> yeah. The long drawn out fights. It had a really, long... not enough screaming. Yeah, not enough screaming. It was it was it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I don't oh, know yeah, if I enjoyed I, it as much as I did because I watched Fantastic Four first, and it was such a smoldering <laughs> pile of crap. The Dragon Ball Z was so really good that sort of because I watched them so close together, the sort of the counter effect was so great that it launched one a lot higher and one a lot lower, or not. But yeah, that sort of happened. So yeah, you yeah, know, I I loved like I just just like. Like I went in and I was like, oh, my ch- my childhood is on the cinema screen. It's so amazing. Yeah. Well, can, can I just say this that I love uh, Frieza's personal hell? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we will come into that in the spoilers. By the way, we, yeah. we will most certainly talk about it in the spoiler part. Oh, of it. oh yeah. Because we'll, we'll that is that. hilarious. Okay. <laughs> let's do let's do pre spoiler ratings. Fantastic Four out of ten. <laughs> Starting with Stuart. Uh, I don't know if there's any... Actually, no, no. There are a few okay features. Like I said, the cast was really good. Like, I really enjoyed the cast. Yeah, that... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I know a lot of it was horrible, and I'll explain why when I go into the spoilers. I'm going to give it a 
I'm going to give it four and a half out of ten. Yeah. I can't give it a five. Uh, EJ? Can I go negative? No. <laughs> no. And if I remember correctly, Mr. EJ last week was saying, it's okay, you got to go in and pretend to love it because it's going to be awesome. And No, that is not what I said. What I said is you should give it a chance because it hasn't come out yet and just because... Uh, and just because uh, of all the BS with changing races and all that kind of and, and putting them in high school and all that, people were going in looking to hate it. It just so happened the movie actually really did suck. <laughs> but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so my rating is point zero 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 zero. What? <laughs> we get the point. <laughs> I, was like, I was actually expecting you to finish that with pie. Zero 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 pie. Pie. <laughs> pie. Where? I'm hungry. <laughs> Where's the pie? <sighs> so, is that why they call pie pie? Because the the. I, I realized something the other day. If you put my birthday in the American way of doing it, you know the the wrong way. I am born on pie day. Excuse me, excuse me. We have it right. The rest of the world is just fucked up. <laughs> the rest of the world does it in descending order. America goes, yeah, we'll yeah, just do this however we want. Anyway, um, Z, did you end up watching Fantastic Four? Yeah, I watched it with EJ, and I, I, I my rating will have to be more like a three. Three. Uh, just, just because it, it, it just it took too long to get. It was too much. It might as well have been called. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Fantastic and his three other Side people. Kicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Fantastic and his three retards. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Three retards and a ringer. <sighs> <laughs> so, Scarecrow. Right. Pre spoiler? Pre spoiler rating. I'm gonna be generous. <laughs> Give it a four. Yeah. It really, really could have been a lot better. It was just too rushed. Yeah. So, so bye bye, Amy. Amy's in the chat room. She's saying bye bye. So bye, bye Amy. Amy. Talk to you later. So, anyway, um, for me, I would probably go <coughs> three and a half, four out of out of ten. Um, mostly because visually it was good. The, the actors were good. They seemed they sort of did the best they could with what they had, but it was just everything else let it down. Um, yeah, just Fox let it down. Yeah, Fox let it down. Fox Fox did what Fox does best. Put it that way. Fuck it all. How up. are they still in business? Because because they're because they're writing X Men and Wolverine for what's worth. Yeah. Uh, not just that. It's also called Sex in the City. The DVD sales of that is still through the roof. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Let it. Mm. You know, I, I really did not care for Wolverine. Yeah. And I didn't even we bother do. to see the second one, so... <laughs> I actually like the second one. The second one's a lot better than the first one. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I should go look at it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on to Dragon Ball Z ratings. We'll start with Z. What would be your rating on on that? I would have to give that like a good solid nine or maybe nine and a half, just um, just because you know, I, I because that 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 little extra half was the fact that the the whole movie wasn't a fight with Frieza. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go similar 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 lines. Like I'm gonna go none. It was oh, just come it, on, dragon. <laughs> it was just it had. It had everything that w- that was what traditional Dragon Ball was. It had the yeah. comedy, it had the fight scene, it had it had Goku being stupidly overpowered. Well, yeah. actually, though, he did get his butt kicked a lot by Frieza. Oh yeah, he he was he was on top for a while, and then it, just, it, it went bad. But that's spoiler territory, so yeah, yeah. So out of ten, ah uh, nine, nine, Scarecrow. Pardon? Out of ten. Dragon Ball Z. Eight. Eight. Yep. We'll cover the Y later on. Corey says eight. So obviously Corey watched it. Um, 
Don't worry, Dragon. We're moving on to the real kicking, to the real chewing in a minute. Yeah. In, just can, can I give my rating? Yeah, yeah I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I know what he's going to say. Just say it. Something along the lines of it's over 9,000. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to regret saying this. EJ, what is your rating out of 10 for Dragon Ball Z? What's Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's not so bad. Uh, I think Dragon now loves It's over 9,000! Z, you now have a mission. You must tie him to a chair with gaffer tape and force him to watch every episode of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Z Abridged, no, all no, of the no, movies, don't make him watch GT. all of the bonus stuff, and over and over again until he is like, yes, Dragon Ball Z good, Dragon Ball Z good. Do you accept this only, mission? There's, there's only one problem with that. Yep. He's a lot fatter than me. <laughs> <laughs> well. Okay, I would stop eating in protest and die of starvation before I got through one fight in Dragon Ball. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, if, if we want to make you a healthier person, we just need to force you to watch Dragon Ball. If you want to make, if you want to put me in a coffin, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we're not that mean. But seriously, Z. Darn. Yes, we are. Yes, Z. Seriously, <laughs> every TV in the house, you know it. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will try this. It will be my mission. <laughs> <laughs> and you must take <laughs> photos TV of the look have... on his face as he's running around the house, going, "No, I no. can't escape." <laughs> The only TV we have is an old tube television that he can't hack and is too old to connect to his computer. So how the hell is he going to get it on there? I will find a way. Collect the seven Dragon Balls and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> so Anyway, for me, I would give it a solid... Back on the point. I would give it a solid um, eight and a half out of ten. Now, there was a few minor issues I had with it, which I'll get into it later. Um, but for the most part, it was really, really good. It definitely, definitely fanboy service. So, yeah. I'm so. surrounded by DBZ retards. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's get the bats out. We've got Fantastic Four laying on the ground in front of us. Let's finish the job. Um, <laughs> Stuart, you get a lightsaber. Scarecrow, you get a... Weapon of randomly decided Gundam thing. Oh god. Nice. <laughs> Stuart, put your lightsaber away. We don't want you to play with that during the show. Stop whipping that out. We're going to offend the ladies. I've got the diamond sword. EJ and Z can. Well, Z can go Super Saiyan and finish the job, and EJ can. Just. I have no idea. Well, okay, if we want to go Star Trek phaser, we're going to go nobility. I'm going to say I'll, I'll get a tap. We'll go with both. Dual wield. Yay, I got a tap. Um, By the way, tap, tactical assault, particle pistol, tap. Boom. Ah. There, sweet. So, yeah. So, Fantastic Four, full spoilers. Starts off with a classroom. With the teacher. And I know the actor, but... Fucked if I can... No, oh, yeah, I can't remember the, uh, the, the I teacher's... No, I can't I know remember him. I know him, I know him, I know him. I'm... I'm... Let me bring up the IMDb for it. It's Dan Castell uh, something. It's Homer. Homer yeah, Simpson. Homer. Homer Simpson. That's what I was trying to... That explains a lot. Yeah. The teacher was <laughs> Homer Simpson. So he, this kid comes... Um, Miss <gasps> Kitty Fantastic comes forward in front of the classroom and says, I'm going to make a teleporter. And, oh! and they're all like, no, you can't... N no, sit down. And he's like, but, but, but I want to make a teleporter. And he's like, no, no. You get to, you have to redo your entire assignment again because it's too fantastical. Teleporters and are not real. Yeah, pretty much. It's it, you've got to come up with a real career choice and this isn't a real career choice and sort of effectively failed him for the course. Then Yeah, this, what a freaking retard. Then the, the sort of the the stereotypical bully thuggy looking character gets up and walks past, notice his books is full of math things and sort of decides that he's actually going to help him and then Back with then, Kitty Fantastic breaks into the junkyard, which happens to be owned by Bully Kid, um, who turns out to be 
the thing eventually. Um, because it's clobbering time. Yeah, the older brother says that to the younger brother, and the younger brother is the thing. And it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Just, guys, seriously, I know you're trying to push yourself as far away from that other Fantastic Four movies as possible, but there is a way to do it good, and there is a way to do it bad. Yeah. Guess which path you've chosen. You've chosen the easy one that is bad. <laughs> See, that that did bug me, that, that that was the brother's catchphrase, and, and that uh, he was exposed to it early on, and that's why he started saying it once he became a thug himself and felt that he... That's the thing, he never became a thug. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was not necessarily a, a thug, um, but he sort of had that sort of upbringing of um, this is what a man is, sort of that sort of that side of things, more than a nerdy side of things. Like a better. Uh, it was a very macho household. Yeah, that's that yeah. macho. Macho is the word I'm trying to find. It ran away from me a long, long time more. ago. Well, see, we're, we're Mexican, so you know we understand machismo. I'm Mexican. You're half. Hey, hey, half counts. <laughs> one drop. Come on. <laughs> You know. Okay, off topic. Leaving that alone. Go <laughs> and so Reed breaks into the junkyard, tries to steal a thing. The macho boy, macho boy, helps him out, finds the thing, goes back to their place, plugs it in, dicks about with the machine, and then teleports some a car to nowhere, and some rocks appear. And uh, a realize, toy car. A toy yeah, car. toy car. Toy car. It's only yeah, it's, it's only a small area, maybe the size of a mini DVD sort of area teleports. And so he goes from there onwards. um, He blacks out a large chunk of the town. The dad's a little bit pissed because the dad's a drunk. Um, You can only guess what happens after that. Jumps forward, what, I think it was like 10 years or something? Uh, Seven years. Seven seven years years later. Jumps forward seven years. And he is now at a high school science show surrounded by 10-year-olds with his teleporter doohickey and just by sheer dumb luck, the guy who is currently top, work, secretly working on that exact same device but can't get it to work, happens to be there, happens to walk through, and happens to stumble across it just as he's demonstrating how it works. <laughs> Question. And it's like... Why would somebody at a high-level college like that be at some dumb ta- uh, uh, backwater town science fair? Exactly. Simple. Because you never know what you're going to find in some dumb hick town science fair. Yes, no, I got yes, even yes, 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 you do. You do. It's called volcanoes. You find lots yeah. of volcanoes, and that's about it. <laughs> yes, but occasionally you find the rare diamond amongst the piles of crap. The only explanation I can come up with is maybe at some point he heard whispers of some kid dicking about in similar sort of stuff, and he went to check it out. That is the reason I could think of for him being there. You you want to know an even better reason? Oh, God. It was in the script. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I, I come to think of it, I think it could be one of those things that, because he's, um, he was, he gave Reed a scholarship. Yeah. So it could be that he was there looking for kids to give a scholarship to. Yeah. And considering the fact that he was pulling in high school age kids on his project all along. Um, it kind of makes his, more sense that way. Yeah, it would make sense that he that he was actively looking for these hot young geniuses, not hot physically, but you know what I mean. And uh, and just yeah, blunders so across Reed, that... who was the only one worthy of his attention. Yeah, because he might have right. found he might have found someone like Reed Richards who was working on this quantum gateway, or he might have found the equivalent of Zeph from Cochrane. Yeah, I, I very highly doubt both of those. The, I still think the likelihood of you some do realize that they do type, that all the time in America. They go yeah, they, to high school science fairs looking for future geniuses. Yeah, they do. Come. But people in his position do not. That is my point. He exactly. Is in direct contact with the head of the company. People who are in direct contact with the head of the company are normally at least seven steps above the let's go to the science fair level. And how much paperwork do you think he has to deal with on a daily basis? <laughs> yeah. Once a, once a month, maybe once a year, getting out to a science fair? That's probably the highlight of his year. Yeah. His Don't highlight know. of his year is going to get, getting to go play golf. It is not <laughs> going to some we're talking a, science We're talking a scientific genius. Or... There's probably no challenge in playing golf to him. Yeah. Exactly. So. The, great, the more complex... 
the more the, the more complex the mind, the greater the need for the simplicity of play. Yeah. Anyway, um, moving on. He gives him the scholarship and he m- moves Reed into a big building so that he can work on this technology. And um, then it cuts away to some random stereotypical... Um, Board meeting? No, uh, no, military no. military board meeting. Yeah, there's that, and uh, sorry. irrelevant and pointless. No, and no, no, it's not away to the board meeting. Oh, the library, uh, library, the, library. The, the, no, uh, no, 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 kid in the car. I'm going oil. for kid in the car. Kid in the car. Kid in the car. The kid in the car, and he drives around like an idiot, crashes it. Oh, his, his son. Yeah, his son. Oh, son. Uh, yes, Johnny. 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 And um, random dog, out of nowhere. Anyway, dog. Wolf, wolf. Anyway, um, God damn it, Amy. This is why we need you in the podcast. <laughs> you, you keep us sane, damn it. Where's Amy, the you... fun in that? <laughs> Should I start referring to Amy? She keeps us on track. <laughs> we we are so far off the rails right now. I don't even know where they are anymore. Yeah. Anyway, so he cra- the, the Johnny crashes the car and. The dad's like, yes, you know what? In order to pay for that, pay for the car, which was my used my money to buy, even though you built it, it was my money. So in order to pay this thing off, you've got to come and work for me. And just by sheer dumb luck, they all fell into the same room, effectively, working on the same thing, with the exception of the thing, which he was sort of dumped almost immediately as soon as he was Reed, too stupid. Yeah, as soon as Reed went to there, like seriously, if I was Reed, I would have pushed to at least have him come with me. Because if then nothing at least else, have a chance at a if, better future. If nothing else, he's got the brawn to have made things in there a lot easier. Yeah. Exactly. And working in a scrapyard, he probably knew how to weld, which was the whole reason for bringing uh, Johnny on board. Exactly. And well, you need more than one welder anyway, so there was room for both of them. Oh, there, there was two of them welding at one point. Whoa, <laughs> crazy. Anyway, um, so they sort of... That quick. They, they cut him out, and you sort of see every now and again... They sort of call each other, but not that much. Then, um, they sort of then they sort of they dick about with the settings. They manage to convince Doctor Doom to come back because they're like, "Oh, by the way, we found this kid who's actually smarter than you and solved all the problems that you couldn't solve." And he's like, "Oh yeah, rubbish, whatever." He's never going to be as smart as me. And they come back and they sort of have a bit of an ego clash, but for the most part, they sort of get along. And they eventually reaches the point where they test the jumping. The jump drive. I'm just going to call it a jump drive. That's what quantum, quantum shuttle. Yeah. Why, don't, why don't we just call it? Why, why don't we just call it uh, uh, techno babble? Yeah, they, they 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 test the techno babble thingy that jumps the thing across with a chimp in it to the other planet, then jumps it back. They realize it's safe, and then the big CEO boss guy from the meeting a little while ago, they were bitching about how much it was costing, comes down and goes, "Beauty, you guys have made us a kick-ass motor. Now I'm going to sell it to NASA." And they're like, but they're like, you what? said you said we would go through on this thing. Nope, someone gets an answer, bye, and he leaves. So they go and get absolutely blind drunk. <laughs> so. Off of off of a flask that wouldn't yeah. even get a freaking Chihuahua drunk. Yeah. And as part of that they decide, you know what, we're 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 drunk, we've got nothing better to do, so let's use this fucking thing. But before we do, let's call the guy that is over an hour away and wait for him to turn up before we and so we can do it with him. And they call in the thing, who then promptly catches a train and several buses, presumably, to get into the city, to this building at a random hour in the morning. Um, they let him in, they all jump in, put their suits on, and the chick's suit, which was made for her, magically fits the thing. Guy, which is another sort of thing where I was like, what the Actually, hell? Actually, I think Ben put on put on reeds and Reed put on Sue's. But even still, that make, doesn't help. Does it make also, it better? the suits are horrible. Oh yeah, the suits are horrible. And um, they jumped in the pods and they jumped across with no one monitoring them and making sure they could get back. Because that's what you do when you're drunk. You, you wake up in the morning <laughs> with a cone, with a street cone, which is hat, whatever you want to call it, and a kebab. You can be a million years out into space, it still happens. Nothing like a good kebab, though. So... And once they're on the planet, the planet's full of green, goopy, liquidy, larvary stuff. And for some reason, they're like, yes, we've got to check this shit out. So they climb all the way down the rocks, go all the way over, 
And Doctor Doom goes, oh, I wonder what happens if I put my hand in it. You know, like, we'll put it this way. They're scientists, like the guys in Prometheus are scientists. <laughs> <laughs> what does this button do? Yeah, pretty much. It's, the, Ooh, let's, what does this liquid do? The, the, the level of science was, ooh, shady, let's poke it. <laughs> yeah, I know Prometheus sucks. That's why I'm making the reference. Um, sorry, just referencing the chat room again. If I, yeah. Anyway. Um, and eventually Doctor Doom gets swallowed up by the green stuff. Everyone else goes, meh, runs away. Gets back to the ship thing. At this point, Sue has realized that um, people are missing, and they're like, she's like, huh, something weird's going on here. She's made it back to the control room and realized the thing's gone, and she's like, oh my god, I need to bring it back. Um, manages to get in contact with them, realizes that one of them's getting bombarded by rocks for no apparent reason, one of them's on fire for no apparent reason, and one of them is screaming for her to teleport them back. So she does the override techno bullshit, just on the keyboard, overrides it, it jumps back. She gets blasted with a wave of energy, and that's how she gets her powers, and everyone else gets theirs. And then, and then we go to Area Fifty One. Area Fifty Seven. Fifty Seven. Whatever. Fifty One. Fifty Seven. Same crap. Different bucket. Random military base in the middle of fucking nowhere. Is random. <laughs> yeah, they call it Area what is it, Area Fifty Seven, and it says uh, location classified. Yeah, and it's like, oh look, we're near mountains. That. Doesn't narrow it down at all. Anyway, so it they... really doesn't. Like between the Appalachians and the uh, Sierra Nevada, there's a lot of mountains in the U.S. Yeah, fair point. But even still, they're relatively. Anyway, it, it was green, so that either puts it in the Appalachians or northern Sierra Nevada. Yeah. See, we've already narrowed it down. We're on. We're on your trail, Area 57. Anyway, do we even know if it was in America? Like, it could have been somewhere else. It's a, uh, a U.S. military op, uh, secret base. It could be anywhere. Uh, it's America. Americans are like that, aren't you? Yeah, but something like that, I don't see them putting outside of, yeah. uh, of the U.S. Now, like if like the black sites and things like that, sure, but I, I don't see them uh, putting um, uh, research secret facilities. Research, exactly, facilities. research facilities outside the U.S. Just because uh, you run the risk of of the foreign government getting a hold of it and. Uh, or, or, or uh, spying on you and things like that. Yeah, exactly. Fair point. But yeah, anyway. Of course, so I said. They, they go through the <laughs> there, and then it sort of shows Reed waking up and realizing that he's stretched out to about 30 foot long in each arm, and God knows what happened downstairs. But anyway, so he's all, <laughs> he's all stretchy, and he, he's been having all these tests done on him, and he can hear um, Ben. Ben Grimm, that's his name. <laughs> the thing, calling out. Trying to get help, and Ben sounds all messed up. Um, and Reed manages to sort of pull himself in so he's back to normal size, and goes sneaks through an air vent, and eventually finds him, and um, realizes he's been turned to stone. He's like, "It's okay, I'll fix this." And he escapes and disappears into the bush. It jumps forward a year to I think it was did it jump forward a year to present day? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's specified exactly when. I think it, just I said, think it said six later. months. No, no, it said one, uh, one year later. It was one year later. Anyway, um, Reed is still on the run in God knows where at that point. The thing is has been authorized to do military operations and is overseas kicking some serious ass. And um, Johnny Storm, Fireboy, is flying around like an idiot. Um, just because he can. So, they eventually track down Reed with the help of Sue. Because until then, apparently, it took 12 months for them to realise they need someone who's of Sue's skill upset. Pattern recognition. So they track him down and send the thing out. And the thing, instead of actually listening for an explanation, like he, he literally goes, I've been working on how to fix you. And he's like, I don't care. Headbutt knocks him out. It's like, but the the whole reason that you're angry at him is because he won't fix it. But he's saying that he's fixing it. The fuck? <laughs> and don't forget, he's had a year of pent up rage and anger. CIA, yeah, craziness. mind fuckage, telling him that Reed doesn't give a shit about him. 
Yeah, there's that, I guess. And and my understanding is he never got a chance to explain. He tried and he apologized, but the thing knocked him out before he had a chance. He was trying to explain and did he just got knocked knocked. Yeah, it was it was one of those sort of scenes that shouldn't have. I felt it. It didn't feel right for where the characters were. It it was a necessary point because you had to explain why the thing would bring him in against yeah. his will. Um, when Reed uh-huh. could easily just explain, and the thing being so upset that he wouldn't let him explain would make sense in that context, but, I mean, just it that whole It felt forced, point. is what I mean. Yeah, yeah, and it's then... Like, it's like, they, 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 they could have cut that entire section out of the movie by him not escaping and just going straight to trying to fix it. But instead, they had him escape so they could do a time skip, and it's to me, that was just very... Lack of a better word, forced. But you, you could still do the time skip. He doesn't escape. Um, he, he starts working with the government to try to fix it. You know, you show tensions between him and the government. Maybe the government doesn't really want him to fix it. And they're sabotaging him. And then you have the uh, the thing who's all pissed at him because he hasn't fixed it yet. And he's trying to explain. Yeah. And, and, then you, and, but, and then you have all this great character tension, which they obviously didn't want in this movie. So that's not what they did. Exactly. Um, and then... So they take Reed back and they question him and dick about a bit. Then they get the second pod thing up and running, the, the new one, and they teleport it through. And <clears> that <throat> one's more like a sh- more like a shuttle. If people go inside it as opposed to in the little random pods on the outside. And I like he goes, "Oh, you made it look ugly." And my first thought was, "No, they didn't." What are you talking? I about? know, right? <laughs> the hell are you going on about? Anyway, um, they go through the other side and they find Doom. At this point, it feels like you've been watching at least two and a half hours worth of movie. And By this point, it feels that long, but you've really only been watching it for about an hour. Yeah. So they get Doom. Doom comes back through. They have a look at him. He's all metal and he's got all the all his veins are green and glowy and it looks absolutely fucking stupid. It really does. Seriously. I actually kind of liked it. but okay. Doom in the original Fantastic Four movies looked better. I can agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I just... just it, to me, he didn't look like Doom. He looked like a Necron from <laughs> from Warhammer 40,000. It looked, it looked wrong in almost every word. It, it was it, almost it, Apocalypse wrong. Yeah, it felt out of place. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, I don't mind the Apocalypse look, so... Yeah. Yeah, I know, but there's a lot of sort of fan hate for Apocalypse. So, and then... Um, what happened next? That's right. Doom goes on his rampage and uses his random ass grab bag of powers to. I did like a... he ki- he killed everyone though. Oh yeah, he he he, he messed everybody that up. That was kind of he... cool. I, I like that the the psychic attack to blow your to blow your brains out literally. Yeah, that that was cool. Um, but then he creates a teleporter portal thing and then flies through the other side and then puts some pillars up and then creates a random ring of t- of vaporization because reasons. Starts sucking everything through. Then the Fantastic Four guys are like, we hate it. We we all hate you, Reed, but we're going to you help. You're going to help us and we're going to go through and we're going to try and stop him. They get through the other side and they're like, we hate you, Reed, so we're not going to listen to anything you say and go and attack him individually. And they all get their asses kicked. Quite easily. Then they decide that they're actually going to work together. And then all sorts of weird shenanigans happen. And suddenly they're overpowering powering yeah, someone that just... Yeah, they couldn't beat 30 seconds ago. Yeah, the, and by using the exact same things. <laughs> Doing almost exactly the same thing that they did 10 minutes ago, or 5 minutes ago. And, and now they're winning the exact because... same way. So... Yeah, it, it seems for for like the the pen, the penultimate fight scene, it just seemed really short. Yeah, right. And how the hell really, did really, Johnny really, really, Storm really fly through those pillars? <laughs> yeah, like I, he wasn't supposed to be that powerful. I thought. I'm like, what the hell? It's like this guy is fire. La- the last three or four times we've seen him come up against stone, it hasn't ended well for him. How can he fly through this damn thing all of a sudden? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe because they weren't made of stone, they were made of styrofoam. Yeah, and or the whole you, thing I, was you just could te- you could technically say that he, Sue could have put a force field around them so small that you couldn't visibly see it. But yeah, that's, but that's possibility. But 
still. That's just trying. Yeah. That's just trying. I guess if that's just trying to defend something that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That 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 doesn't like. If they had shown that, like, shown like just a brief brief hint of her like focusing on him, and you have this like shimmer of the shield, and then you see him do that, yeah, that would make sense. Honestly, it was just a really stupid plot hole. Yeah, yeah it, it was sort of a, the plot hole of that sort of was the straw that broke the camel's back for me when I was watching it. There was a lot of crap up until that point, and it it was a lot of crap up until that point, and that was the moment where my brain went, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I, I lost it. Uh, I, I kind of lost interest Um when do like when they first found it like when they when um victor came back yeah when that like when the team was over there i was just like no i'm no i'm sorry no you, you've lost me now he didn't even feel right the guy they had as doom didn't even feel right i hate saying that yeah but what's his <laughs> name from the first matters. two from the original two 1991s he actually felt right as doom yeah the I rest of the cast didn't that. feel I... right, but he felt right. Honestly, yeah. I just hate the character. I mean, he's way too over... Doctor Doom is way too, like, melodramatic. Ha ha ha, I am the bad guy and I am going to hurt you. Ah. Yeah. It just, you know... Eh. They, they didn't have enough character development for, for Doom in this at all. And, and I, think that's, no. I think that's part of the reason why Doom was much better in the 05 Fantastic Four is because at least he had more of a reason. Yeah. You understood the character. Yeah, I will give this. Cr- I will give this movie credit where um, the two thousand five movie had. This actually went into the science more than that movie did. Yeah, but this most went, of uh, the science was wibbly wobbly, timey wimey level. Stu- it still went into it a lot more than two thousand five did. Because yeah. yes, let's, we're just gonna have a random space <laughs> gamma blast in a space station that's supposed to be shielded, and the shields just miraculously don't work just due to budget. Cuts. Exactly. At least this one makes sense. The doors got the doors got wouldn't close because the lock mechanism busted. Yeah. At least it was more realistic. I will give it that. The yeah. reason for the behind the transformations was better and the reasons for it. I mean, Johnny yeah. Yeah. Todd caught fire. Ben was getting pelted by rocks. Reed was trying to pull his capsule shut. Yeah. That made more sense for it. Okay, Suze <laughs> didn't, but the other three. Yeah. 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 Suze was just, was just random the- shockwave. <laughs> Yeah, they, they were just coming up with an excuse on how they could possibly get Sue powers, uh, even though she was not in the alternate dimension ever until the end sequence. Yeah. So, anyway, overall, it was just... Like, sometimes movies have a thing, and I've, I've, I've said this before, they have this thing that you can't put a name on, you can't even really describe, that takes a good movie and makes it a great movie. And when it's lacking that thing, it... It just doesn't work. Script. This movie felt like it had that thing, but it was having lost that thing, along the way. And having the thing doesn't so, mean... Without the appropriate <coughs> scripting and oh, story yeah. to back it up will still result in a steaming pile of turd. Oh, ex- exactly my point. It, it, it felt like it had the thing that could have made it a great movie. It really did. But the ball was dropped so many times that Humpty Dumpty could not get put back together again. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> the, it, ball this was, is, this is... the ball was dropped more than the Australian cricket team. <laughs> well, I mean, even, even like... You could tell they were trying so hard to compensate for the bad script. Um, that, like, they're do, like, the cinematography, for example, if you look at points, there's this little trick that you can do if you're taking, like something that's just very static and you want to make it more interesting or it's taking too long you want to make it more interesting, you kind of, like, just slowly zoom in, right? It's, um, and, like, like they do that way too much. Just to yeah. uh, try to make it okay. Yeah. You know what's what? Is that they, the, the scenes that were in the trailers weren't even in the movie. Yeah, the part the part of the thing dropping out of what looks like a carrier wasn't even in the movie at all. Oh, you're right. And, and the big that. ass sunroof line wasn't even in there. Yeah, yeah. not none of that was in it. They t- they cut all that out. They just they used cut that the trailer. trailer stuff out of the movie. Yeah. So what you got to Which... piece the trailer bits together into the movie's continuum. Yeah. So I've been, so... I've even managed up until I saw this movie. I even managed to avoid the trailers for it. 
Like, and I, I would have loved to have seen Thing getting dropped out of the carrier. Like, that would have been awesome. Out of the cargo plane. That would have been epic. Yeah. yeah. Or cargo plane, whatever it was. It just, it, and, but no, they just cut it out for no reason. Yeah. I think I think that was actually part of a, one of his missions. Um, while like during that year that he was that they cut, yeah, and I it would have been interesting to see like his first mission or something, you know? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, I think that about covers us for bitching about Fantastic Four. <laughs> we got... could go on. We could do more. Oh, we could go on. We could do the next fifteen minutes. What's left of the podcast? Just bitching about Fantastic Four. But I think I'm going to call it. Did we actually have fifteen minutes worth of news? No. I mean, I've got a bit of news I can go on about. Well, so the problem is we haven't covered Dragon Ball Z, Z yet. yet. No. It was so, good. Leave it alone. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and since wait, we, got wait. Z, we got Z on here specifically to talk about Dragon Ball Z and then it never happened. Bye, Dragon. <laughs> so. so, anyway. I'm trying um, to keep our only remaining listener on the actual live channel in here. Oh, Poor Dittums, I'm sure they'll get over it. Anyway, so Stuart, <laughs> you get to do the news really quick. You have three minutes. Go. All right. So, um, uh, Star Trek and Texas Chainsaw Massacre actor Terrence Evans passed away every weekend. Oh. Next. Well, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm looking at a ticking clock here. We need time to talk about Dragon Ball Z and how awesome it was. I don't want this podcast <laughs> to be a bitch fest about King Fantastic Four. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Oh, it yeah. does. But... Anyway, uh, go. Re- moving along. Uh, Spidey's out- uh, outfits, I should say, for Civil War. It has been confirmed that Spidey's going to have multiple outfits. Yeah. Yay. Are we so going to see the Scarlet Spider? Oh, we that'd be awesome. may see the Scarlet Spider, but there will definitely be the traditional one. And yeah. then the Iron but Spider? The blue, the blue, I heard yeah. Iron Spider. Yeah, I but the Spider. blue is a different color, and there's also reporting a black um, Spidey outfit. Ooh. Oh, God. Hello, Venom. Uh, how the hell are you going to pull Venom into this when you've already got the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe shooting at each other? And you haven't had an, a single Spider-Man film within this universe to establish backstory or anything. Well, so you have to establish ba- Spidey's backstory. You've got to continue the story for all these other characters. You've got to figure out how you're going to get uh, Iron Man back involved because he's basically quit the Avengers. Uh, are they going to have Hulk or Thor? What's going on there? Well, that, Hulk that doesn't make sense to bring Tony's Venom. quit the Avengers, yes. Doesn't mean he's still not involved in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Anyway, with what? There's no. He, he's out of the Avengers, and uh, Ed Shields collapsed. So. Yeah. Well, he's so, out of the Avengers, yes, but he's not out of the whole thing. I mean, he's still technically Iron Man, and they're still going to want their best person on there. That's why he gets winds up on the government side in Civil War. Which, by the way, at the end of Iron Man three, he destroyed all the suits. Where did the suits come from for this Avengers? Simple. Magic. He built new stuff. Yeah. yeah, but he kind of like swore the, off the whole thing. It was like his thing to all the to suits Pepper that saying he built he wasn't up to that it. point were yeah. specifically designed to operate with him <laughs> wearing the arc reactor in his chest. He had to redesign them anyway for him not having the arc reactor. Yeah, but do, wait, did we establish this that he didn't have the arc reactor? In yeah, system? yes. They actually show the surgery removing the arc reactor and the shrapnel oh, you're right, chest you're right. at the end of th- three. Yeah, but he, even so, even so, if you no longer like. Oh, he, the whole point of destroying the the Iron Man suits was to sit there and say, like, it was a testament to, to, to Pepper that he was no longer going to be Iron Man and that he was going to devote himself to her and, you know, Which peace is, and love and all let that me put it. Shit. Let me put it this way. How long do you think Pepper was going to survive without giving without Tony having some way to um, protect stress that doesn't involve sex and alcohol? Anyway, well, we've... But the, oh, okay, I, we're getting off track. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we don't have enough time. We, we could keep going if we wanted to, but we don't have enough time. Stuart, news, go. Faster. Yeah. So, um... So anyway... Fox reportedly cut three action scenes a couple of days before Josh Trank even started filming. Eh? So, before uh, Josh Trank came on and started filming... Um, in the script, so basically, the script that Fox had, they cut three action scenes out of the, out of the entire thing. Oh. Out of what? For what? The, what show? The script? No, no, out of the script for Fantastic Four. Oh, okay. Which you said just Trank. 
jo- yeah, Josh Trank. He's the director. Oh. See, we didn't know that. You you were saying Josh Trank like it's a new show. And I'm show. pretty sure he'd rather he we, he we, I'm sure he pretty uh, he ra- would rather we didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, like he and and uh, um even like d- days after he filmed, Fox hijacked all the um production stuff, all yeah. like the editing stuff from, and he's like pissed. Yeah, like that's like this. That's why I said we need a director's cut so we can actually get a feel for what he wanted the movie to be. Yep. But Fox and, being Fox, we won't get that. Yeah. And last but not least, uh, Gamescom happened over the weekend. Got some, got some info on the new ba- uh, game mode called Fighter Scorpion. There's a twenty v twenty dogfight in the air. I'm in. Oh wow. With hero, Load with, up, your boys. Two, with your two hero classes being the Millennium Falcon with Han on it and Slave Fett, uh, Boba Fett Slave One. Nice. Meh, I'll still take my X wing. Oh, you know, you can still play the X wing and stuff, but. Don't care the about Star the Euroships. Enterprise will kick all their ass. But moving yes. right along. Yeah, moving right along. Well, I'm done. That's it. You're done. <laughs> yeah. You so should. you're not you're not you're not going to give the Oz Comic Con news. No, you can do that. Uh, I don't have it up. Fine, all right, I'll do it. Uh, so... I, I hear that's a common problem. We hear we hear there's medications for that. <laughs> 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 I don't usually have that problem. Yeah. I'm Fine. Me just, either. Just, just for that, everybody gets airlocked except for Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yes! <laughs> I hate this part of the night. What? And, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, moving uh, right along. Uh, Amanda Tapping has cancelled from um, her visit to Australia for Oz Comic Con. But instead, we gained Todd Hebrook. Habercorn. Ha- that, that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, for those who don't know who he is, uh, he's a he is uh he plays Spock in Star Trek Continues and he's also a well known voice actor. Yeah. He's so, done Soul Leader, Fairy Tale, uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, so we're still getting Richard Dean Anderson. We're still getting Christopher Heidel. We're still getting a heap of the other good ones. But yeah, Amanda Tapping unfortunately is cancelled. Um. So anyway, some of us are actually heartbroken over that. Yeah. Is it just means that Dave's now going to have to wait longer to get that poster sign? <laughs> oh yeah, that poster sign. Speaking of posters, right now on save uh, Facebook dot com slash save sci fi, we are doing a giveaway. Uh, all you have to do is like, share, and comment on a picture uh, for your chance to win one of four hero or four enemy posters based on the fleets that the fans voted for. So jump on over there, give it a like. It closes on the 16th of August, so six days from the airing of this podcast. Might even announce the winners on the podcast. I haven't decided yet. Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. What's that? Go away, EJ. Z, grab some tape, round the mouth, throw him on the ground. (laughs) Again, he's fatter than me. I don't know if I can do this. I'm over 9,000! Pounds. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, EJ. Couldn't resist. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. As He's long left... as it's good natured, I don't give a shit. If you're, to be, if you're trying to be an ass, that's one thing. But if you're just goofing off, I really don't give a shit. <laughs> Welcome to the Australian Sons of Humor. We're all mentally fucked. <laughs> yeah. If it makes you feel any better, last time I threw a tennis ball, it came back at me and stuck to my chest. <laughs> <laughs> so. Welcome to the club. <laughs> so anyway, we, since me and EJ are both giving Majin Buu a run for his money, um, let's move on to Resurrection F. Um, so what did you guys consider? Spoilers free. Spoiler free. So no, no. So not spoiler free. Free to use spoilers. Go nuts. Hold nothing back. Spoilers. <sighs> so where do we start? Let's start with Freeze's personal hell. Oh yes! <laughs> oh, my God. I swear, I saw, I <laughs> saw Con from Bleach in that. I heard an audible "What the fuck?" Yeah, if from my audience. I don't know. The audience I'm watching was just this flop random person off to the side, just "What the fuck?" I'm yeah, like, I know. I, was, I had that right was... next. I had that right next to me from Sky. So 
I had the, I said to myself, I was like, what the I was like, what the hell? Am I in the right cinema? I had that, <laughs> like, I had I that moment too. Com- I was honestly confused, like, what is this? And so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna watch to find out what this is because I thought it might have been like a, like a movie short thing, like Pixar do or something, and like Mad Men, and like Mad Men tried to do their own sort of spin off. Yeah. And then it turns to the cocoon in this in the thing. I was thinking, wait, why is Boo in there? Because that's all I could think of when I saw the cocoon, and yeah, it turns I around. That was well. And it just freezes, just freezes face, and everyone in the cinema lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I was, no one was expecting that at mm. all, ever. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> and, yeah. Freezer really, really looked happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was ecstatic. <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen anyone that happy since, um... They walked out of Fantastic Four. No, 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 no. I, no, even that's not that mean. I haven't seen anyone that happy since they basically being told that they've been dumped for another. A guy's been told they've been dumped for a female. My reaction would be, "Can I join?" <laughs> Leaving that alone. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, thanks for the Xander comment, there, EJ. We need to do that. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, um, yeah, it, uh, I'll let someone else. I, I did Fantastic Four. Someone else can do the plot of this one. Z, if you want to. All right. Um, so the the film opens up obviously. Uh oh, we're fucked. The film opens obviously with, as we've explained, with Freeze's personal hell, filled with <laughs> teddy bears and all this love <laughs> and pixies and pixies and fairies. And all this <laughs> It's glorious. I was so not expecting it. See, I would have thought his personal hell would have just been Goku beating him over and over and over again. See, the only the only problem with it was that we've already seen Freezer in Hell when he was fighting Majin Buu, talking to Cell. Yeah, that's yeah that but that is a, com- first, that is an issue. Yeah, they were in there, Dragon. There was unicorns in there as well. <laughs> yeah, there was and My Little Ponies and everything else. It was hell. It was. I'm watching it going. Yeah, that'd be hell for me. Yeah, yeah, I was going, I was like, okay, can this actually... I was actually, actually it, was, it wasn't Freezer in that cocoon, yeah. but I didn't know it was a Dragon Ball movie, then I would have thought the cocoon would have been filled with Doc. <laughs> <laughs> so, after we see Frieza ecstatic in his little, you know, teddy bear filled hell, uh, I, I believe we cut to uh, the the commander of, of uh, Frieza's army. Re- remaining... Yeah, um, Sorbet. The remnants of Frieza's army after the others got through yeah, with them. I love the name of him, Sorbet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they come up with these 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 food like names. They just love the. They it's just, just Dragon the Ball. Is Dragon Ball? Just leave it at Dragon, that. Dragon Ball it's loves the food puns. Probably a hat not to the hat not to the uh, English speaking audience. Uh. So um, and then we we uh, we we have these uh, these. Uh, the, the the commander and and some of his minions and they're they're yeah. talking about the freeze of freeze back. Yeah, the freeze and um, they're trying to find um, new Namek and they have no idea where the hell it is. Yep. So uh, they finally decide. Well, it's a risk, but we're gonna try going to Earth. So they send uh, the the commander decides. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go and I'll bring you. And uh, they they go down and and. Piccolo, I think Piccolo kind of notices what's going on. Yeah, Piccolo and, and Gohan. Yeah, they, they're kind of Piccolo like, more than Gohan, because Gohan... Doesn't train anymore. I mean, honestly, Gohan is going from bad to worse. Okay. I mean, There's, seriously. Hey, There's his redeeming factor when it comes to the fight, and I'll uh, explain why. Wait, come yeah. on, that look on Piccolo's face as he rocked the crib... Yeah. Was like, why, doing this? <laughs> why am I doing this again? <laughs> he was he was he was happy. He yeah. was happy. No, it was, he was almost... as happy as Piccolo ever gets. P- Piccolo's as happy as Frieza. <laughs> no, not that happy. <laughs> no, anyway. So, Frieza so was gnashing not... what was left of his teeth. So they 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 stumble across Pilaf and um Pilaf gets them the balls, and then they play with Pilaf's balls, and then they summon the dragon from the balls. And, uh, I love seeing Emperor Pilaf act like he's, it's so nice seeing the old the old throwback to the old Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, I haven't heard of seen Pilaf around for a long time. It was good to see him back. Yeah, 
He was in. He was in uh, the Beerus movie. Yeah, he was in Battle of Gods. Yeah, yeah, it was good to see Pilaf getting some love again. It's he was but, always underplayed. He was a viable enemy in Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z comes along and it's like he never existed. So it's nice to see yeah. them bring in elements of Dragon Ball back. Yeah, the the only downside was is the chick is still going oh, out with trucks. Yeah, and it's trucks. like, lady, you're at least fifty or sixty at this point. What is wrong? Really with... Really shouldn't be hanging out with ten-year-old boys. <laughs> yeah. It's not something that should be happening. <laughs> yeah, it's Japan. You can get away. Actually, with it. I must admit, I am kind of happy. There's no Goten or Trunks at all in the movie. Yeah, they're, they're referenced, but they're not seen. It would have actually yeah. made that little battle a bit more interesting. Um, yeah, because if, if, if they are was... active. Those two are actively training. I mean, I mean, some of the others just. Yeah didn't deserve to be in that fight. Yeah. Well, I like it how they left... Uh, uh, apparently, uh, Tien, Yamcha is now hanging out with Tien and Chiaotzu. For, probably because he got kicked off Reishi's Island. Um, oh, what about Krillin? Krillin go, <laughs> shaving his head. Uh, Krillin as say the say cop. Yeah, as Krillin as the say. cop. <laughs> <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> I mean, he's using a he's using a hover scooter, and he's at least three hundred times faster than that could ever be. I know, yeah. but it's so hilarious. And the, I think the funniest part is when they shave him down, he looks like he's five. Yeah. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> no, no, Krillin did not get his butt kicked for once. Well, he, not any more than anyone else. I, Goku, I, I Gohan copped the butt kicking this time. Yeah. Gohan copped the butt kicking and. Goku really copped a buck kicking. But other than that, I think Krillin came off fairly well. I, I like Android 18's response after he left. Yeah. Aren't He's strong? so cool. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, damn. That, everyone in the cinema was just like, what? Really? Really? <laughs> what really? Fuck? What's wrong with you? You used to be a badass android, now you're whipped. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It sort of felt like one of those lost in translation lines. Lines. Oh god. oh god, I'm echoing. What if it's something to do with um, bro um, bio Broly or something like that? Maybe yeah. she like, maybe she like appreciated him after bro bio Broly. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. anyway, um, so Freezer gets wished back by Pilaf and these gang of idiots. Um, he comes and, out of millions of pieces, and he turns up in <laughs> lots and lots of little pieces, which is. Which is exactly how everyone else that's been wished back to life came back. Because Yamcha came back in his body that's been a corpse for years. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> the dragon really did not want to bring Frieza back. No. no it's, he's even going, this is a stupid idea, why are you doing this? Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, just as they're about to... I don't know what the hell they're planning on the second wish was going to be for. Uh, probably, probably I'm guessing we'll free to restore the body back to normal. Yeah, that's what I would have expected, but they were talking about reviving Freeze's dad. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, a little bit like, it. what the hell? Yeah. And then and little dog boy on Pilaf's side goes, I wish for a million zennies! <laughs> that was <Yeah>. glorious. <laughs> I, and, roar, I roared in laughter. Yeah, that was I, I, I was in stitches. Just the uh, face. It's just like, <gasps> it's just like, uh, he's just like, what did you do? What just happened? <laughs> And yeah, then um, they take Freezer and they piss off, and then it cuts to Goku and Vegeta fighting Whis. Whis, yeah, they're training Whis. Whis. They're training with Whis. Yeah, On and it the... explains what that symbol is. Well, yeah. Whis somewhat Stop. explains what that symbol is. Yeah, Whis and got bored. Whis yeah, got Whis bored got and threw all them without them realizing. <laughs> it's just a random scribble. Yeah, he did it to both of them without them even realizing. It was so funny. So stupidly OP. Like, like, when did you do this? <laughs> yeah. It's like I was bored. It's like what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Um and so they're fighting there and they wake up Beerus and uh and Weez is like, Oh by the way, I sa I saved you some of the food that they bribed me with. It's called <laughs> pizza. Ta. And Beerus noms him and is like, Oh my god, this is fantastic. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> to be fair, no, it's really fantastic. And then, um, at this point, Freezer's made its made his way back to Earth, 
after doing crap tons of training because when he sort of came back in his full form he was like I've yeah, never trained a day in my life if I trained for four months I'd definitely become stronger than anything he could possibly be he disappears for six months um, yeah I was say yeah I think he was doing four months of training and then I'm guessing it takes two months to travel to earth from yeah. wherever he was doing the training exactly and then um, so he f- ends up rocking up before anyone else turns up and that's when Roshi, Krillin, Tien, um, Piccolo Go- and Gohan Go. try and fight him. God! And... Characters are in this thing! Yeah, and they're like... <laughs> the original Z-Warriors, that's what it's in. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, and they're like... Piccolo's like, okay, you got this, Gohan. Go Super Saiyan. And Gohan's like, I don't think I can anymore. And Piccolo's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Piccolo's just like, oh, crap. And say, oh well, this this is bad. Um, they, I, I I'm all up the the um the exp- explanation for the green tracks because Roshi's like, where's your gear? It's like ah, uh, I couldn't find it, so I just chucked on this tracksuit. Yeah, pretty much. And then, <laughs> that shows like how... that shows oh. how much training Gohan hasn't done. Yeah, and the, the funny thing was right when they're all they they eventually. Frieza sends his soldiers out after a bit of a monologue, and then they all start getting their ass kicked. Um, eventually, they're all sort of scatter, and they're all being chased on their own. Krillin's being chased, so he uses Destructo Disc. He misses and hits the mountain. <laughs> it's like, wow. I'm not sure if he missed or if he was aiming for the mountain. You've got I a wall of bad guys! How can you miss a wall of bad guys and aim for a mountain instead? Like, seriously, Krillin, you finally had a chance to use your destructor disc in a constructive way, and you failed. Congratulations. I, I, I think they were trying not to kill him. Yeah. 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 And you, they were like, okay, well, this is a, uh, this is the best way. Like, just just irritate him. Shit out of him. Yeah. yeah. Buy some time so Goku could turn up. And Bulma's desperately trying to get Weezer's attention by using a... Uh, um, Ice cream. Was it? Strawberry Sunday. Yeah, Strawberry <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> and they finally notice, and they're like, oh, and... and Weezer's like, oh, it'll take us, like, what was it, 30 minutes or something to get yeah, there? Yeah, the, the 40, 30 odd minutes or something to get there. Yeah. And, and, and was like, just use your freaking instant transmission! Yeah. Like, she was <laughs> full on, like, this is full on old days of Bomber yelling her head off. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, Goku's like, but it's too far, I can't sense it. And then she, Bulma turns and yells out to Everyone the guys. Power up! Power up as much as you can so Goku can sense your power levels. And Freeza's <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> Freeza's like, what the crap is going on right now? And then Goku appears in front of it and he's like, ah, so you finally turned up. It's like, okay, moving right along. And um, have- Goku and Vegeta bitch about who's going to fight him and <sighs> eventually Freeza's like, oh, Freeza's like, I want to fight Goku. And, um, so, and Goku's like, haha, see, he chose me. And Vegeta's <laughs> like, well, fine, fuck you. And he sort of stands to the side and just watches. <laughs> Freezer goes, I'm not going to mess around with you this time, and he goes straight to his ultimate form. They start fighting, and Goku's like, you know what, I'm not even trying. You're going to seriously... What the hell? I know you're holding back. Can we both just go to full, full form already? And Freezer's like, fine. Goes golden. Goku goes Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So blue head. And then Goku realizes how much of a horrible mistake he's made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that that golden form actually makes F- Freezer stronger than Goku. Yeah, Freezer like way... the shit out of him. Yeah, like way stronger. Like Goku was battered and bruised afterwards. Yeah, and only a only a very small period of time. Yeah, if if uh, Freezer learned how to control the energy, he he, he would be able Freezer to take Freezer basically one went super level one. Which for his race, and instead of practicing or training, he just went, ha ha, I'm strong now, and goes and attacks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and at this point, Beerus and, we- and Weez have turned up, and they're sort of watching the fight, and just like, Bomber's like, why did you go over there and help them? And they're like, we've got ice cream. <laughs> pretty much. Well, he was alone. And, <laughs> and it's like, eh. And then, they're, they're, that's right, they're fighting up really high. Vegeta, this is before he goes golden, Vegeta rocks up and starts beating it at Kakarot, cause, and Freezer looks at Vegeta and goes, huh, maybe Vegeta wants to be my underling again and he's trying to protect me. Nope. And what's really happening is Vegeta is beating up Goku for not l- swapping out and letting Vegeta have a go. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And so anyway, so goes Frieza goes golden, beats the shit out of Goku for a bit, and then Vegeta yells out to him again, Come on, tag out, it's my turn, I wanna have a go. And Frieza offers Vegeta like to effectively be his number one directly below him. And Vegeta was like, he, nope. he wasn't buying it. Nah. Then Goku's like, but come on, you, the only reason you want to have a go is because you've worked out his weakness as well. <laughs> and Frieza's like, weakness? weakness? What weakness? I don't have a weakness. weakness. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then Goku just flat out says what it is. And it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Strategic advantage, gone. Uh, <laughs> and Frieza flat out denies it as an issue. And... Goku proceeds to turn the tables against him, beat the shit out of him, and goes so far as almost knocking the golden out of him. Uh, Freezes down for the count. Goku lands, and uh, Sorbet blasts Goku with a low-level laser from behind, straight through the chest, and just knocks him out straight away. <laughs> Gone. Goku's done. He's out of the battle. Um, Vegeta's like, fine, I'm fucking stepping in now. He goes Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Charges in at Frieza. Um, starts beating the crap out of Frieza. Uh, Frieza goes... Eventually loses his gold. And Krillin rocks up. Gives Goku a Zensu Bean. Drags Goku away to where Beerus and Wiz are. To recover. To Ostensibly. recover. Um, Frieza loses what's left of his mind. F- yeah, Frieza goes absolutely nuts. Starts pounding the ground. Like, how dare you? I can't possibly lose. He's like, screw it. Blows up the whole planet. Which is we, traditionally a dick move that Freezer would do. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a standard Freezer dick move. Um, then it sort of cuts to Wiz and them just sort of floating in this force field bubble. And Wiz is like, see, I told you this was going to happen. You guys are just too reckless. You don't know how to fight properly. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, and it's like, wait, can't you turn back time? It's like, yes. Would you? Only for more sweets. And because your food is really, really good here. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Turns back time, Goku charges You can only turn back time three minutes, so Goku has a very, very limited time period to... Charge in and finish the job. So, Goku charges in, kill steals Freezer from Vegeta. Vegeta... (laughs) Is now even more pissed than he was to begin with. (laughs) Not impressed. Not impressed at all. (laughs) I mean, you've seen... You've seen seen or heard Call of Duty players rage over kill stealing. (laughs) Amplify that by about 5 billion times. That's about the level that Vegeta's now pissed off to. Yeah. <laughs> Amplify Call of Duty kill stealing by Vegeta, and yeah, you got a fair idea. It was... Oh, Vegeta on oh, PMS. Yeah, it, was, it was great. He's always on PMS. What are you talking about? It's kind of so, like yeah. Ski here. And they're, they're, they're talking about how they're going to have to go and gather the Dragon Balls to bring back the, the, the city that's been destroyed. And then it sort of cuts to the credits. Runs through the credits, and then right at the end, it cuts back to... Freezer Freezer's in the hell. personal hell. <laughs> he said this time he's no longer half what? cyborg, he's now... He's now he's full. full Freezer. But yeah, and <laughs> and everyone lost it. Everyone who, who hadn't left the cinema that was still sitting there lost it. They lost their shit. It was, it was done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I love that personal hell. So, so that was... It was really, really good, and... Shy of, like, I would have liked to have seen Majin Buu because they mentioned Majin Buu and they're going to call in Majin Buu to help. And if Frieza does at one point say, there's two people father told me never to fight. Majin Buu and Beerus. Beerus is there yeah. eating ice cream and Majin Buu is, um... Probably only reason he's, somewhere else only reason he's, he's not there is, quite frankly, he doesn't want to ha- lose the planet again because he stole the food that Beerus was meant to be eating. Yeah. Tell us what I say. He's probably off eating ice cream somewhere as well. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah, but he's eating that. ice cream on Hercules' budget. Did the guy Not who created this have, like, an eating disorder? Yeah. No, no, I'm just... Uh, uh, Goku. He's a bottomless pit. He doesn't stop eating. Same Heroes stomachs. <laughs> only goes only goes for sugar. Majin Buu only goes for sugar. Sugar. It's like, what it's like, the hell? Yeah, everyone in that show just is a bottomless pit. So, yeah. Buu is the only human. one that... It, it shows that he, he loves sugar. Uh, Boo just turns people into chocolate and eats them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I miss those days. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, Dragon... I actually really, really like this movie. I oh, really yeah. did. And I'm looking forward to the Super version. Yeah. And just on, 
really quickly on the notice super. Have you guys seen episode five yet? No, yes. I have. Yeah. Did you notice the animation looked really bad? Yeah. For the why fight, was that? For the fight. Uh, yeah. The spirit, when he when he was Super Saiyan. Yeah. Yeah. It looked really really bad. Like rushed out of the room at the eleventh hour, half finished bad. I've seen better animation on YouTube videos. Bad. Yeah, I don't know why it was like that. That was weird. I was watching it going, oh, this almost puts me off watching it at all. It was... Oh. Quite simple. All the They were splitting the budget between Dragon Ball Super and Resurrection F. Guess which got the majority of the budget? Yeah. True. Yeah. I also noticed they didn't do as much CG fighting in Resurrection F. Thank fuck. Yeah. 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 Well, that brings me to my only complaint with Resurrection F. Yeah. When it came time for Goku and Vegeta to power up to the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan form, it was way too anyone quick. notice that there was a distinctive lack of constipated screaming? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I mean, I know normally the... even just reaching Super Saiyan requires a unholy... Ah! <laughs> and suddenly they just shimmer blue and it ex- and explodes off them and they're transformed. It's like, dude, that's not Saiyan. That's just yeah. cheap. But even still, even they Gohan could, they got could... longer than they did. Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> yeah, but that's because he hadn't he hasn't popped his cherry in a long time. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> I wonder has Videl ever thought of? I wonder what sex would be like with Gohan when he's Super Saiyan. I, I don't know. Uh, 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 leaving that alone. <laughs> there is lines that we do not cross on this podcast. That is one of them. I mean, come on. Just give it a no, go no, flying, for no Christ's sake. No way. Say, you're feel gone. for Chi Chi. You're both gone. That's, it's down to just EJ and me. And I'm asleep. Edzy. <laughs> so. Anyway, um, I figure it's about time to wrap this up because we are approaching 90 minutes with a podcast this time. So, a tiny little bit over. We've gone a little over. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, um, final thoughts. Start with EJ. On, on Dragon Ball Z? Yes. What is it? Exactly. Moving on. Z, final thoughts. Dragon Ball Z. It was fucking awesome. I mean, it, it was a, it, it made me feel like I was like six years old watching it in my my living room. Fair assessment, Stuart. Yeah, I I absolutely loved it. I can't wait for it to drop out on DVD because I'll be picking that up immediately. Yeah, Scarecrow, final thoughts. Pretty good. Hit all the hit almost all the right spots for the memories, but without taking three hours to throw a punch. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fair point. Okay, uh, for me, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I'll definitely be getting it, and I'll be looking forward to when the bridge guys get around to it. Oh, um, t- t- did you have to start <laughs> the outro now? Yes. <laughs> oh, I was about to say a funny thing with the, with TF, uh, the TFS guys. Yeah, real quick. Um, they went to see it, and um, they actually know um, um, the voice actors like they're good relationship. And yeah. people are trying to do um, we're trying to do the um, the um, abridged voices in cinemas in America. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, admittedly, I will say that Vegeta did not sound right for the first sort of five minutes he was in the movie because I'm so used to watching the abridged voice. Yeah. <laughs> it took a little bit for my brain to readjust, but yeah. Anyway, um, so the as always conversation. Oh yes, really quickly, the podcast is now up to date on iTunes. Yay! So this will be going up live as soon as I can get Grin to put it up. Um, so put, I, up, I upload it, give it to him, he puts it on the server, and then I do the page. So as soon as that's done, it'll be up on iTunes for everyone to get. So as always, the conversation continues on facebook.com slash save sci-fi and save sci-fi.com. I've if got you... a shout out to do tonight, remember? I know, I'm getting there. Um, tonight's show was brought to you by our shout out. Scarecrow, Go. Tonight's show has been brought to you by the 105th Armory, who have just received their latest restock. So if you're interested in gra- in Australia, in grabbing some Macross, Zoids, or Patlabor model kits, check out www.105thamourry.com.au. Yep. And that's our show for tonight. To check out some of the stuff that EJ's into, go look up Nobility 
theseries.com. Is that correct? You got it. Excellent. I remembered this time. I've only had to manually enter that into the webpage thing a dozen frilling times. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and, as always, have fun, live long and prosper, and may the force be against you. <laughs> Wait, I think I got one of those wrong. Hmm. wonder which one. Yeah, you're right. Set phasers to retard. Yeah. Yeah, I blame Stuart, because the force is never with him, so... <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> There's a reason why I'm retired. So, yeah, he's, a, he's the retired Jedi for a reason. So, anyway, catch you next time, guys. Bye, everyone. Good night, all. Bye. So long.